Hey guys, it's me, my trip from the fashion culture. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the upload. Period. If you guys haven't been tuned in, I've been doing a Boss Babe series where I show you guys the behind the scenes of me owning my own business, showing you guys my day to day, and giving you guys some tips along the way. Ooh, bars, yes. So in this episode, which is episode three, I'm gonna show you guys. I know, guys, I don't have on nails. I have on literally one nail. It won't come off, so don't judge me. But yeah, if you guys are new here, I always get my nails done. You guys can check out my Come With Me to Get My Long Nail long nails done vlogs i do them all the time but i'm trying to give my nails a break anywho um this is episode three where i show you guys how i pack and ship my orders i'm going to show you guys what's that like so if you guys are interested in how i do it then keep on watching but before you do these are the plain jane lashes which is my new lash collection the lash packs let me show y'all so yeah these are my new lash packs i have two styles this is the plain jane style you get five pairs of lashes for twenty dollars so go ahead and shop lash culture at lashculturecosmetics.com but if you want to see how i pack and ship my orders then keep on watching okay guys so i'm going to show you guys how i pack and ship my orders today i have four orders i need to ship out today um so yeah okay guys so um sorry if i keep looking at the screen and not actually the lens i apologize for that but anyway the site host i use is wix so when i have orders i like to basically use um my ipad i have a i don't even know what version this is but I got an open box at Best Buy, but this is an iPad and I like to use it to see my order. So like I said, I have four orders today and um, this is usually what it looks like. Hold on, I don't want you guys to see any names. So yeah, it just tells me um, the amount of the order and what they got. So I don't care if you guys see the amount of the order. That doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to do each order separately. Usually I do the orders all at one time. So I'll print out their labels and stuff like that. But I want to show you guys how I do them separately. So the first order, basically I'm just going to see what the first order is. And then I'm going to grab all the products and the shipping materials I need to ship that product. I mean that order out. And then I'm going to just keep doing that. So this person ordered two poppin three slay and um, a plain jane pack but i have a sale going on right now a back to school sale so she used the code buy to get one so for poppin she gets a free lash and for slay she gets a free lash so yeah we're going to go ahead and put that order together and then every order gets a free applicator so i'm going to grab all those materials and yeah but unfortunately for my um luxury mink collection and my new lash pack collections i haven't done inventory yet so that basically means i haven't put the lash labels on them um so i have to do that but i'm not going to do that in this video because that'll just take so much time so i'm just going to do them individually and then once i'm done all the orders i'll go ahead and do inventory for those so again this person order poppin slay um and plain jane so let me show y'all that Yes, I have three popping for her and four slays. So I'm going to go ahead and print out the labels for those. Again, I don't have my inventory done, so um, I already had popping on the screen. So I'm going to print out three of those. But if I did have my inventory done, all I would have to do is put the lash in two plastic bags. These are my plain Jane lash set. Again, you get five pair of lashes for $20. And they are mink so go ahead and shop with me so all orders made on my site with three or more pairs of lashes they come in a box like so i'm literally just going to put the labels onto them like so I always like to put my lashes in these little plastic bags if I have them sometimes I just don't have them um, I get these from my vendor basically I just ask them can they send me some usually they um, don't charge me but when I first started working with my vendors they used to charge me but now mostly they don't really charge me I just tell them to add it into my order when I get my boxes or whatever so just checking the lashes one final time make sure I like the way they look then I can put them into their their bag. So, yep, they're just 
simple plain bags. I think this just adds like a nice little touch to the lash, makes it look a little bit more professional. These things are so annoying though. So one pop in. And again, I said this before, but the reason I don't get the names printed onto the box is because um, I don't always buy the same quantity of lashes. So for instance, Slay and As If are some of my best sellers, so I buy more of those lashes. Um, and say if I have like um, five boxes left and I have three of them that say pop it, but I need to sell all five of my sleigh then what am I going to do you know so I personally just like to label them again I'm just going to check the lash make sure I like the way it looks before putting them in the bag and this is why I don't just put them in the bag before shipping them out just so I can make sure I like the way it looks okay so I'm going to go ahead and put them in the bag ahead and label plain Jane which is my lash pack and also the lash I currently have on I also have the plastic bags for the lash packs as well again I think it just adds like a nice touch so I like to make sure that I add them to my packages okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble her order so if you guys watch my other vlogs, you already know I already I always pre-fill my boxes with um, craft paper, a flyer, thank you flyer, and a sticker. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set them up. also get a tweezer so I'm gonna go ahead and add that other tweezer set and say lash culture I don't know if you guys can see that but I'm gonna go ahead and just add that into the pack so now what I want to do is print her packing slip what I like to do is print about two of those basically it's like a receipt telling her this is what you ordered so that way um, you know there won't be no confusion or anything and she can know you know this is exactly what I ordered so I just do that through Wix and um, basically you just hit print so as you can see her order is over there I'm just gonna make sure it's set up to my printer instead of hitting all I'm gonna hit custom and type in one oops I wanna hit custom and type in one so that'll make sure it only print the first page and for copies I'm gonna print two and just hit print. Now it's gonna go ahead and print. And don't mind my printer guys, it's so old. I literally had it since I was like 14 and I'm 22. Okay, so this is what the packing slip looks like. So what I like to do is always reference. So please, if you have a business always reference okay, so she ordered two poppin so make sure you have two poppin lashes in here so what I'm gonna put plus one by two get one and then I'm gonna check mark it and initial slay she ordered three and I'll put plus one by two get one and then I'm gonna initial the plain Jane pack and I want to put plus three applicator set part okay and I think it's just so important to do that so that way you can make sure they know what they're getting so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put her packing slip right under her flyer and I'm just gonna Close the box, get her poly mailer. 
So what I like to try to do is just bubble wrap it if I can. Um, so that way if she wants to, you know, she can save the box. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the poly mailer. It is a little harder to do with the bubble wrap on, but it's not impossible. So I'm going to do the labels last. So I'm just going to write her order number on here. So the next order, the person ordered two of my 3D Lux collection, which is my 25mm lashes. She ordered Insta Baddie and So T, and she used the code Back to School Baddie. So she didn't use the buy two get one free, so she doesn't get one, but she does get a free applicator. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a gold mailer and. Uh, her lashes. Okay, so I got her lashes. This is Insta Baddie. My fave pair. The most dramatic pair we have. And you just pull it out like that. And that's how you open it. Come on packaging. This is the back. And yeah, Insta Baddie. And then she also ordered some tea. Period. Boo. So I'm going to go ahead and print her packing slip and while that's printing I'm going to put her plastic on her boxes and assemble her order. So just the same thing you want to make sure you only print the first page and two copies. Okay so I'm satisfied with the way the lash looks so I'm going to go ahead and put them in plastic and the noise you hear is my printer obviously. <music> Again, she gets a free lash applicator. I'm gonna give her the lash applicator set too. I have her order here, but again, I'm gonna go ahead and reference it just to make sure, um, you know, everything is in there. number and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next order okay so this person just ordered insta baddie so I'm going to ship this one in a gold mailer and this person gets a free applicator again I'm just going to go ahead and print their packing slip okay so I'm putting the lash into the plastic one more package to do you guys which I think is another box so this customer ordered mink lashes as well my regular mink lashes so you guys know um I didn't do inventory for my regular mink so this customer ordered four mink um she didn't use the code buy to get one free she just used the 20% off so she just gets a free applicator um so she ordered Faded, she ordered Too Hottie. Now Too Hottie is one of my silk lashes, which I did do inventory for. She ordered Poppin' and she ordered Bossy Girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those lashes together. Once we're finished that, we'll go on to how I, um, you know, print the labels and stuff like that and put the tracking number and all that good stuff, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm about to label the lashes. So she ordered Too Hottie, but again, I already did Too Hottie. So the other ones are Poppin'. I'm printing her packing slip. I forgot to do that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and reference like I've been doing. to print out the labels real quick so I use Wix and basically Wix sucks it's honestly one of the worst 
site host and I say that because someone who's a new business owner you need as much help as possible um, when I first started out I had big cartel big cartel is really good for people who sell, want to sell like one thing um, maybe like tickets or something I don't know it's really good for just people who want to sell one thing and like don't want different options and stuff like that and then I transferred to Shopify which I absolutely love and I got my website done and I had this transfer to Wix and I freaking hate Wix I think Wix is really good for graphic designers or people who want to create their own website because it's really easy to use however I think Shopify is the best it has so many built-in tools to help you really run a successful business and the analytics and data is so much better um another thing about shopify that i love is that you can ship your order right through the website basically with wix once you press fulfill order you literally only can copy and paste the tracking number and just put in which carrier you use so if you use ups fedex or whatever um with shopify you can press buy label and you literally buy the label within shopify and it's just deducts some amount from your account and you can just print it out right through there. I offer two different options when people can pay, when customers pay for their order. So you can either pay through, you know, your credit card and that is from Square. So Square is the app that I use to, you know, store my revenue and then um, you can use PayPal to pay. And I love when customers use PayPal to pay because when they use PayPal, I can ship their order right through PayPal. Today, three out of four of my customers use PayPal um, to pay for their order, which is amazing. So once I go to PayPal and I look, I press activities, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Like I said, three out of four of my customers use PayPal. So as you can see, it says print shipping label. Once I press print shipping label, it's going to bring me to this screen. And this is where um, I buy the label. So as you can see, this is the postal service, obviously. And I always ship first class. So basically, you just want to weigh the package. So if it's a larger package, you put large package. If it's a smaller package or like envelope, like the mailers, you would put this option. So for this one, it's definitely a box. I'm gonna put large package and I'm gonna weigh it. Um, I have a scale, I'm gonna show you that in a second. I'm gonna put the weights into there, calculate shipping and press buy. So it's literally that simple. Once it um, purchases the label, you print it out and then I'm gonna connect my um, label printer so you guys can see that. So get her package out, which is this one right here. I'm gonna put it on my scale. This is my scale that I got from um, Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. This is the brand it's by you want to just make sure it's on zero zero and then you want to go ahead and plop the package on so with first class mail you're not supposed to go over 13 ounces but a lot of the times the boxes come out to like 14 15 i promise you they should ship it anyway it should be no problem so go ahead and plop it down i want to do my space down so you guys don't see your order number it's saying one pound. I'm gonna just put it at 13 ounces. I don't know, you know. I wanna come down here and just put 13 ounces and just hit calculate shipping. So I usually don't pay more than $4 for a label. Um, yes, you do have to pay for each label and that's why you charge a shipping fee. Oh, this one is a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna pay for it and then we're gonna hit print and we're gonna go ahead and print it. So this is my label printer, it's from Dymo. I will leave a link down below so you guys can um, access it. Again, it's also from Amazon. So this is the screen it's gonna bring you to. You just copy and paste all the customer information from Wix.com to the T, don't change anything. Once you press the information, you just hit ship to this address and then it's going to bring you to the same screen about buying the label you buy the label and that's just that so now i'm going to go ahead and just put on her shipping label and i took the bubble off because it was making the package a little bigger so yeah so i'm just going to apply that and this is the package so i'm going to go ahead and do that for the other three orders but what I usually do is just print out all the labels and the um, orders first. 
I know you're probably wondering, well, how do you weigh it? I usually just go off of my guess, but if you really want to use your scale, you can just do the labels last. So I'm going to go ahead and print out the labels for the rest of the order. Well, I believe the post office, all the ones near me are closed. It's almost 5 p.m. Or at least by the time I get to them, they'll be closed. So um, I'm just going to just ship them out tomorrow. <laughs> Boom. The last thing to do is basically put their tracking number into Wix. This is kind of hard to show you guys without showing you guys their tracking number. Um, I just don't, I want everything to be safe. I don't want nothing. Even if they get their package way before you guys ever see this, I want everything to be professional. So, um, it's a little hard. Let me see if I can finesse away. So this is her tracking number right where it says tracking info. So you're just going to copy that number or whatever it may be. So then you want to go back to Wix once the information is copied and you want to hit fulfill order. When you hit fulfill order, this is what's going to pop up. You literally just copy and paste. You want to hit USPS. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it. So once it's copied and pasted, it's going to send a shipping confirmation email to them. And then you just hit fulfill order. Good morning, guys. So today is the next day. I'm about to just go ahead and drop these few packages off to the post office. Um, like I said yesterday, it was pretty late when I got done. I literally could have just dropped them off into like the drop box. And then the next morning, they'll... What do you want, Chanel? No, leave it alone. And the next morning, they'll... Um, you know scan it in but I personally like to get a receipt for each package I send off just so I can have reassurance that the package is sent out okay 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 guys so that's pretty much it that's really how I ship out my orders I know it may seem like a lot or a little slow but I really wanted to break down each detail for you guys so you guys can know how I really ship out orders and if you want to start your own business you can have some insight if there's any questions that I may have not answered then please feel free to leave them down below don't forget to shop Lash Culture, Lash Culture Cosmetics. Again, this is Plain Jane. Five pair of lashes for $20. So shop Lash Culture and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Shop Lash Culture. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye, dolls. Stay fast.